Hi, Daniel. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening, fine. How are you? Nice. I'm here at Excellent. home. Yes, very nice. We missed you yesterday. Yes, I I I had to work extra time. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. With my son. <laughs> yeah, I can see him. Hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hola. 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 ¿Cómo estás? <laughs> Bien. Bien, bien, bien. ¿Cómo se llama, ¿Quién? mi amor? Mateo. ¿Quién? 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 Mateo. ¿Cómo se llama? Mateo. Ah. Ah, ¿Cuánto ah, tiene? Está ya va para febrero, cumple dos años. Sí, very good. Ya, ya está grandecito. Ya no guerra. <risa> Only one child? Only one. No okay. more. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. Espero que no más. <laughs> yeah. I said the same thing, Daniel, and I have three. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. He, he's very talkative. <laughs> Sí, me gusta hablar bastante. That's nice. All right. Rosa Lisset, hello. Nancy, Cristina. Adel, I mean, Trini, hello, girls. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hi. Hi. Very good. Thank you, teacher. Excellent. Nice to see you. Okay, girls and Daniel, we're going to officially begin Unit 3. All right. So tonight we begin Unit 3. Remember that now we have um, two more weeks and we're done. All right. So 10 more days and everything will finish. And then you can go celebrate Christmas. <laughs> All right. So yeah, let's get ready for that. Hi, Johnny. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. Very nice. Happy to see you. Hey, thank you. Very nice. Mire que esto. Hoy sí tengo como que very slow my internet. But you see me okay? You hear me okay, guys? Yeah? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. All right. Very good. Yeah, it's terrible right now. Okay, very good. Okay, so as I was saying, we're going to officially begin Unit 3, guys. So let's start. Let's open up our books, okay, so we can see uh, the, the stuff that we need to learn. All right, so let's go to page 29. I'm going to share my screen with you right now. Just give me one second. All right, so page 29, Unit 3, all right, troubleshooting. I will be able to describe issues about machinery. Let's start. What are some common problems at a plant? Make a list. Vamos a empezar con eso, all right? What are some common problems? Pero no lo vamos a poner at a plant porque no todos trabajamos en ese tipo de trabajo, all right? So we're going to, I'm going to stop sharing. I want you to write on your notebook, I want you to write what are some common problems at my job? All right, so please write that on your notebook or wherever you're writing and write what are some common problems at my job and make a list. Maybe five things. Think about some problems or troubles that you have sometimes in your office, in your work, in the school and write them. Five, at least five. Si usted piensa en más, mejor todavía. But five, it's okay. All right, so let's start with that, please, right now. Hi, Katia. Hi, Edwin. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. All right, so Katia and Edwin, let's start by writing what are some common problems at my job. And then I want you to make a list of five problems, common problems that you have. Okay, okay. Cuando, thank you, Katia. Cuando termine, let me know, okay? So we can start sharing the information, sorry.
All right, ready? You guys have it already? Hi, Carlos Roberto and Vicky, hello. Hello, teacher. Hi. All right, Daniel finished, Johnny, Lisette. Everybody um, else is finished? Only two, teacher. Okay, all right. I'm going to give you some more time. De todas maneras, acaban de entrar otros compañeros. Les doy la explicación para que podamos tener unas cinco, all right? Unas cuatro o cinco. A ver, Vicky and Carlos Roberto and Carlos Eduardo Melgar. Right now, we are talking or making a list about common problems that you have at your job. All right, think about problems that you have, all right? Everybody has, because we work in different places, we may have different problems, all right? So make a list of five. En unos dos minutitos empezamos a revisar, okay? Okay. Thank you. Hi, Alexander. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Alexander. Right now, your classmates are making a list of the past or of the common problems we have or you have at your workplace. Okay. Let's see, Johnny, can you tell us about some common problems that you have at your job? Okay. Uh, bad internet. Okay, yes. Uh, I don't know, hot, but for color, hot on summer. Okay, I don't know. all right. Now, heat. Um, heat, maybe. Yeah, okay. Uh, the computers fails sometimes okay yes the computers fail sometimes uh-huh uh problems with the platform mm -hmm. yes all right anything else only four okay that's fine thank you let's see uh daniel could you think of more more problems at your job Okay, in my job we have problems uh, with with cell phone connection. Okay. Okay, um, uh, with traffic uh, about the construction and a highway, highway to airport is con under construction. Mm -hmm. One, how say? No sé si paso de nivel. ¿Cómo se llama? Oh, a bypass. Bypass, yes. Bypass, bypass is, is, is a lot of traffic. Okay. Uh, in my office, uh, in my office, we have a problem with a 
water dispenser. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Interesting. Very nice. Thank you. Very good. All right. Let me see here. What What about Lisette? Lisette, some problems at your job? Uh, the office is very reduced. Ah, it's very, uh, it's narrow, <laughs> like small. All right. The internet uh, file very. Okay. Five. Fails, yes. Uh, right. Um, so, so that <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's okay. All right, that's fine. Let's see. What about um, Christina? Could you think of some problems, Christina? No, 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 that's okay. That's fine. Okay, um, communication uh, problems with my compañeros. No sé with your sea. classmates, I mean your workmates, perdón, workmates. Ah, claro, see, that's a problem. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they do not pass the bills on time. Oh my goodness, okay. They don't understand the financial part. Mm, okay, very nice, Cristina. No entiende la parte financiera. Okay. <laughs> That's very difficult. Okay, Cristi, anything else? Um, sometimes they don't answer the phone. Oh, my goodness. Okay, all right. Yeah, of course, Cristina, those are like very big problems, okay? Tal vez no técnicos, pero sí es like part of the job, okay? So yeah, very good, yes. excellent. Thank you, Christy, very nice. Let's see, what about um, Katia? Do you have anything, Katia? Yes, I have four problems, teacher. Okay. Doesn't have enough stock of product in the warehouse. Excellent, okay. I stay with that product in company. <laughs> oh, okay. Platform issues. Yeah. <laughs> and product delivery delivery delay. Oh my goodness, Katya. Okay, very good. Interesting. Yep. Very nice. Thank you. Okay. okay. What about? Thank you so much. What about Vicky or Trini, Carlos, Roberto, Edwin? Uh huh. Me too. Thank you. Yes, Alexander. Okay. Um. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The internet is running really slow. Okay. Um, you know, my computer just shut down when it's open. Oh my goodness, that happened to me yesterday. Yes, Alexander. Uh huh. In the morning. Okay. Um, and I, I, you know, you know, to login. Okay. And finish. All right. Very nice. Thank you. Very nice. Trini, do you have anything? But internet, computer crash. Uh -huh. Lack of space in drive. <laughs> Lack of responsibility of students. Okay. Noise during online class. Oh, very nice. Okay, interesting, very nice, thank you. Anybody else? Um, I don't know, Carlos Eduardo Melgar or Carlos Eduardo Maldonado, Edwin? The problem with, with printers. Uh -huh. printer. Yes, okay. Solo se puedo agregar porque ya dijeron todo. All right, thank you, Edwin. Yes, very nice, very good. Anybody else? Someone else to tell me about problems at their jobs? All right, okay, maybe we'll, we'll talk about this again later. All right, guys, I'm gonna take attendance right now, the first one. So you guys give me one second here, I need to open it up. Hold on, guys. Oh my goodness, this is like forever. 
Okay, we're gonna continue and then we're gonna take the attendance. All right, very good. Let's continue and then we'll take it. Let's see. Let's go back again to our book here. And we have the conversation. All right, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Ramon and Dorian. All right, so here we have. Thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Someone reported a fault on one of your machines. I'll have a look at it. You're right, you know, it doesn't work properly and it makes a strange noise. This is a complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machines have a lot of components. I need to take the metal casing off to, uh, to verify it, if it is a minor fault or what. I understand. If that is the case, we need to speed things up. I recommend check the brushes once for night to make sure they are not down. And what happens if they are? We will have to extend the shut, all right? So this is the conversation here that we have. All right, so we're going to practice the conversation right now. Let me see. Maybe um, Carlos Eduardo Melgar, you want to be Ramon and Emelina, do you want to be Dorian? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Uh, thanks for your coming, Dorian. No problems. One report a fall on one of your machines. I all have a look, look at it. You are right. You know, it's done no work. Prepared, and I make a strange noise. This is a complex machine, so my baby, you will need some time. Yes. Complex machine have a lot of components. I need to take the metal casting off to very if if it is a minor fault or what. I understand. If that is the case, we need to spell things up. I recommend check the brushes once or for night to take sure they are, they are not down. And what happened is they are? Um, teacher? Sorry, sorry. Can you mm -hmm. get that? Thank you. Yeah. We will have to extend the shop. Okay, very good, thank you. Let me see here. Oops. Uh, let me see here. We're going to try someone else right now. Victoria. Hi, Victoria. Can you please read Ramon? And let me see here. Okay. And um, Kevin, can you please be Dorian? Okay. Thank you for coming Dorian um no problem someone reporting uh, for on one of your machines I had a look at me you are right oh, sorry <laughs> you are right you know it does not work properly and it makes a strange noise. The is a complex machine so maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machines have a lot of components. I need to take the mirror casing off to bury it if 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 it if a minor for or, or what? I understand. 
if that is the case, uh, we need to speed things up. I recommend check the brooches once of a 14 to May, so they're not down. All right. And what happened if they are? We will have to accept the chat. All right, very good, thank you. All right, one more. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado, can you please be Ramon? And Katia, can you please be Dorian? Okay. Thank you, Chair. Okay, Ramon, okay. Thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem, someone reporting a fault on one of your machines, he'll have a look at it. You are right, you know, I does not work properly. And I make an strange noise. This is a complex machine, so maybe you will need some time? Yes, complex machine have a lot of components. I need to take the metal case, you know, to very if it is a minor fault or not. I understand. If that is the case, we need to spend enough. I remain, I recommend check the brushes one a fortnight to make sure that they're not down. And um, what happens if they are? We will have to extend the shoot. All right, very good. Thank you, guys. All right, let me see. We're going. I'm going to stop sharing this for a second. Ya vamos a regresar a revisar lo de lo del significado de las palabras. I just want to do something here. I'm going to take the attendance. No lo había podido tomar porque tuve problema con mi drive. Donde tengo la asistencia. All right, Adela Trinidad González con suegra. All right, thank you. Let's see, Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present teacher. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. Cristina Roxana Romero de Araujo. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. I'm here. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jorge Albert Alfredo, sorry, Argueta Flores. Present. Thank you. Jose, Jose David Rivera Aquino. All right, give me a second here. Juan Jose Conrado. Okay, Julio Cesar Merino González. Kevin Antonio Ramirez Sanchez. Present. Thank you. Misael Rivera Aquino. All right. Then we have Nancy Lizette Rodriguez Escoto. Present teacher. Thank you, Nancy. Very nice. Oscar Edilson Corea Spice. All right, then we have Rocio Katia Maritza Martinez Cubillas. Present teacher. Yeah, thank you. Rosa Lisette de Paz Hernandez. Present. Thank you. Vicky Dinora, uy, Vicky Dinora Gutierrez de Durán. Present. Victoria Maria Vasquez Juarez. Present. Thank you. Oscar Armando Esquivel Quiñones. All right, then we have Maria Melina Iraeta de Salinas. Present teacher. Very nice, and Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Excellent guys, thank you so much. All right, let's go back to the reading right now, guys, here. I'm gonna show it to you here again. So let's see, there are not many issues with the pronunciation. No sé si necesitan que les repita alguna pronunciación o vocabulario. Any questions about some words? Teacher. Yes. 
can you please uh, read again the part of um, the paragraph? Huh? I need to take the metal. Can you please read again uh -huh. the paragraph in the second Dorian? Uh, yes, the complex. I need I I need to take no um when I need to take the metal casting off to bury if it is a minor. Can you read all this part? Teacher, yes, please? Maria Melina. Okay. Yes, it says yes. Complex machines have a lot of components. I need to take the metal casing off to verify. Ahí les faltó a ellos verify if it is a minor fault or what. Es verificar, verify. Por eso está como raro. Pero es verify en lugar de very. Okay. I need uh, the, me the metal casing off to verify if it is a minor fault or what. Okay. okay Thank you. you. Very good. Okay. Anybody else? Any other question? No questions? All right. Very good. Teacher, yes. Teacher, what is minute all for four night? Once, once, a, one once a four night. Four night yes. is quincena. So una vez a la quincena. Once, once a four night. Uh huh. Once a four night. Thank yes. you, teacher. Yes, very good. Anybody else? Alguien más escuchó otra compañera y luego un compañero que dijeron teacher. Uh huh. Teacher Rocío. Yes, tell me. Clean up. Uh, where is it, Rocio? On Fortnite. Arriba de esa línea. Ah, eh, donde dice, we need to speed things up. Esa. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, speed things up es acelerar las cosas. Speed up es acelerar. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Thank you. Sir. Very good. Thank you. Very nice. And someone else said teacher before. One compañero que dijo teacher, but I can't remember who it was. We're okay? Okay. No more questions about this? Teacher. Yes. To extend the shop. Uh -huh. Extender el cierre. Okay. Thank okay. you. Very nice. Thank you. All right, guys. Very good. So, here we have, for example, acuérdense que estamos tratando de eh, describe issues about machinery. En este caso, estamos precisamente hablando de maquinaria. All right. I'll have, por ejemplo, decimos, I'll have a look at it. Esta es una expresión que le puede ayudar mucho para cuando usted dice, voy a, lo voy a revisar. Ok. En otras palabras, eso está diciendo, I'll check it. I'll have a look at it. All right, that's an expression. Luego, si algo está haciendo un sonido raro, decimos, it makes a strange noise. All right. Cuando tenemos aquí, I need to, y ten, como tenemos el to, el verbo sigue en infinitivo. I need to check, I need to take, I need to repair, lo que usted necesite hacer. A minor fault, entendemos que es minor fault. Una falla menor. Sí, exacto. A minor fault. Very good. Thank you. All right. Speed things up. Ya lo decíamos ahí con Rocío. Speed things up. All right. Acelerar las cosas. All right. Once a um, fortnight. Yes. Sorry. Sorry. Can you interrumpa. No, no hay problema. Eh, cuando dice, I need to take a metal casing. Ajá. Se necesita tomar una muestra del metal. Algo así, no. I need to take the metal casing off. No, que necesita eh, como quitar en la part, el case de metal. Mm, uh -huh. Ok, quitarlo. Right. Quitarlo, ajá. Uh -huh. I need to take the metal casing off. De hecho, el verbo sí, es take destapar. off. Sí, como si no llevara el, Si no llevar el off, si fuera a tomar una... Exacto. Mm. Sí, pero como es take off, en ese caso es retirar o mover. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. It's a it's a phrase. Para verificar si no, 
para verificar si no es una falla menor, si es una falla menor o qué. Exactamente, así es. Uh -huh. Okay. All right, very good. Okay. Excellent. ¿Alguien más? Okay, just give me a second, guys. Yes, tell me. Ajá. Uh -huh. um, what is meaning brushes? Ah, uh, brushes es como cepillos, solo que, bueno, brush es un cepillo, pero supongo que en este, como es una máquina, no sé, me imagino que son como, I cannot really explain it, María Melina, but I think it's like, como, como pelitos. Como la barredora, es eléctrica. Ajá, ¿no? exacto, como es esa como barredora, cerca, exacto. No. Ok. Something like that. Yes, okay. I believe so. <laughs> I'm not an expert on machinery. All right, very good. Okay. Teacher. Hola, Johnny. Yes. It's, it's the same to say take off and move. Or no. Take off and remove. See, if they, uh, Johnny. Remove. Okay, or uh -huh. depends on the context. Um. Yeah. I guess it would depend a little bit on the context because, for example, you say take it off, es como quítelo. All right, igual, si usted le, um, por ejemplo, se está probando algo, alguna prenda, una camisa o algo, ¿verdad? Entonces, you put it on and you take it off, se la quita para, para ponerla en el gancho, ¿verdad? You take it off. Entonces, yeah, you can say quitar o remover. Uh -huh. All right. Okay, okay, very good. Thank you. All right, so here we have, we're gonna go back here. Vamos a hacer, eh, si gustan, ahorita, ahí solitos, let's do these two questions, all right? Complete the questions about the conversation, then write the answers. Number one, what seems to be the problem with the machine? No quiero que lo copien, quiero que lo expliquen ustedes, all right? What seems to be the problem with the machine? Léalo y pónganlo en sus propias palabras. What recommendation does Dorian give? Igual, léalo, pero usted lo escribe en sus propias palabras. All right? Number one and number two. Hagamos ese ejercicio ahorita. Me avisa when you finish.
All right, do we have the answers already? O seguimos trabajando en eso. All right, guys, let's see who has number one. Question number one and the answer. Um, teacher. Yes. I don't, I don't, I don't know, but mm -hmm. uh, I don't know the machines. <laughs> okay. Uh, my answer is he doesn't know. No, he doesn't know the sounds of the machines okay all right fine that sounds fair as long as you have it written properly johnny excellent anybody else with the answer for number one uh-huh anybody else with the answer for number one It's a strange noise. Okay, it makes a strange noise. All right, very nice. Thank you. All right, anybody else with number one? Teacher. Yes. The machine is not properly. Okay. It's, it, it, it's making it strange, strange noise. Okay, all right, all right, very nice. Thank you. All right, let's do number two. What recommendation does Dorian give? Anybody? Teacher. Yes. He should check the machine in case of some sim problems. Okay. All right. In case of some problems, anybody else with a different answer? The team for support have to take out the machine to to check what the problem teacher and uh, he have to stay for uh, one for night. Okay. All right. Very nice. Thank you. All right. So let's go here now. We have express expressions for describing issues. Okay. Let me see here. Um. Victoria, can you read todo lo que está arriba del cuadro, Victoria? Y, let me see here. Um, Carlos Roberto, can you read the second part? Esta segunda parte, la de abajo. All right, Victoria, you may begin. Okay. okay. Expression for the script is I have a look at it. I doesn't doesn't work properly. Mm -hmm. I make a strange noise. Yes. I need to. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. All right. Um, Carlos Roberto, are you there to read? Yes, teacher. Can you read the bot? Lo que está en azul. Okay. Um, I need to speed things up. Uh huh. Check the brushes once a fortnight. Uh -huh. 
I have to extend the shoot. The shot, uh -huh. the shot, yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the correct pronunciation is minor or minor? No, minor. Minor, oh, thank yes. you. Yes. A minor. Oh, excellent, very nice, thank you. All right, so here we have, I'll have a look at it. It doesn't work properly. It makes a strange noise. I need to, I need to, th I need to speed things up, check the brushes once a fortnight. I have to extend the shot and a minor fault. All right, so these ones are very specific to these kind of problems. All right, what we're going to do, vamos a hacer dos cosas ahorita. Vamos a ir ahorita a los grupos y vamos a trabajar en el ejercicio 5. Match the expressions or words with the phrases in the left. Entonces tenemos estas acá y we do the matching. Eso no se van a tardar mucho. All right, pero. Ya, yeah. pero en la segunda actividad que quiero que hagan, ¿se acuerdan que al inicio de la clase hicimos una lista de common problems in uh, your job, all right? Y todos teníamos diferentes situaciones de dificultad, ya sea técnicos o, de, o del ambiente laboral, all right? Entonces, what I want you to do is, for example, I'm working with María Melina y María Melina me va a decir uno de sus problemas, all right? Que por decir algo, um, uh, dígame un problema, María Melina, que usted tiene ahí en su drugstore. Uh, no, we have a problem with the new computer system. Ah, okay, entonces. It's not working properly. All right, entonces, María Melina me va a decir, my problem right now is the new computer system. It's not working properly. Ahora, yo no soy técnico en computación, pero es como que yo le puedo dar un advice a, a María Melina diciéndole, ah, why don't, why don't you call the technician to help you with the, the uh, installation of the new system, okay? Entonces, la idea es dar recomendaciones, aunque no seamos expertos en el tema, all right, but we can help each other. Entonces, María Melina me dice dos problemas, yo le doy, like, some ex, um, recommendations or things that we can do, all right, using expressions, all right, and then yo le digo otros dos problemas de mi trabajo. Uno podría ser, eh, pues, eh, la internet a veces es very slow, all right, or the platform doesn't work, all right. So what are, what is Maria Melina recommending me about the issues, all right? Nothing fancy, por eso en el ejercicio anterior yo les decía, escríbanlo con sus propias palabras, ¿verdad? Cómo realmente usted ayuda a alguien, all right, giving them advice to help the problem. Entonces, we're going to work in two things. En el exercise 5, page 29, y luego nos pasamos a los problemas que tenemos en el office, all right, y some solutions. Eso vamos a hacer ahorita, okay? The idea is for you to practice speaking, okay, guys? Yes? All right. Well, voy a mandarlos a los grupos. Espero que los que tienen la camarita apagada si puedan trabajar, porque realmente no sé si están por ahí. All right, veamos entonces. All right, guys, I opened up the, the, um, the groups already.
Hi, Oscar. Hi, teacher. How are you, Oscar? Um. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so so. No hay palabras para eso. <laughs> oh my goodness, Oscar. Oh no. <laughs> no me la sé, por lo menos todavía. Ah, ok. ¿Sabe uh -huh. qué? Lo voy a mandar ahorita a un grupo. Ya casi van a terminar, pero al menos escucha lo que están terminando de hacer. Oye. Ok. Ok. Ya en unos dos minutitos lo saco a todos. <risa> Gracias.
<laughs> Did you guys finish? Yes. All right, very good. All right, guys, I'm gonna take attendance right now and then we're gonna continue with this, okay? We're just gonna wait for everybody else to come back. Okay. All right. So Daniel, did they give you any solutions <laughs> to your problems? Mm -hmm. Did your classmate yes. give you solutions for your um problems? Yes. All right. She say, she say me change my 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 company who provide a cell phone service. <laughs> oh, very nice. That's a great solution. <laughs> Yes. All right, guys, everybody's back. So I'm going to take attendance right now and then we can talk about the um the solutions that you came up with, all right? So let's do the attendance right now. Uh let me see. All right. So here we have Adela Trinidad Gonzalez con suegra. Thank you. We have here, give me a second. All right, then we have Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vasquez. Present. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present. Carlos Roberto Garcia Ramirez. Present. Cristina Roxana Romero de Araujo. Present. Edwin Elise Orellana Vivas. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sanchez. Present. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present. José David Rivera Aquino. Present. Juan José Conrado. Present. Thank you. Julio César Merino González. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Thank you, Kevin. Um, Misael Rivera Aquino. Present teacher. Thank you. Nancy Lisette Rodriguez Escoto. Oscar Edilson Correa Spice. Present. Rocío Katia Maritza Martinez Cubías. Present teacher. Rosa Lisette de Paz Hernández. Present teacher. Vicky Dinora Gutierrez de Durán. Present teacher. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Present. Thank you, Oscar Armando Esquivel Quiñones. Present teacher. Maria Emelina Iraeta de Salinas. Present teacher. And Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Excellent, guys. Very good. Thank you. All right. So we're going to continue here. All right. So uh, let me see. Um, Carlos Eduardo Maldonado. Who did you work with, Carlos? My, my partner. Ah, who was your partner? Johnny. Ah, Johnny. All right. So, Johnny, what was Carlos Eduardo's problem? Choose one. And what was your solution? Um... Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> what happened, Johnny? Wow, Carlos. Conditioner. Right. Refresh my mind, Carlos. <laughs> air conditioner. Ah, yes. Air condition. Uh -huh. What is teacher? Conditioner air or air conditioner? Air conditioning. Air conditioning. Uh -huh. You can say AC, si le cuesta. <laughs> the uh, AC is faster. Uh, uh -huh. Check. Check the gas. Ah. Or call to technical support. Yes, very nice. All right, perfect. Let me see. Um, Alexander, who did you work with, Alex? Alex? Mm, no, 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 no. You don't remember Alexander who worked with Giovanni no, 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 no. Alexander? 